is this world coming to, right? <laughs> I'll try it again. It seems like. Jamanda has seen the videos as have we. This was just her station in Los Angeles of people stealing purses, others walking prices. off with larger boxes. That's Even this store in Crabtree here, Valley Mall is dealt Walmart with a repeat offender. One woman last so week coming in and putting a dress into her there. purse, then doing it again this week. Decide to raise their prices or. That's the, that's the bottom line. Gerald Cohen worked in the so, Treasury Department during the Obama administration. Now he's a professor at UNC's so Keenan Flagler Josh Business School. He Chapin? spoke to us from the passenger seat of his car. Yes, well, I was looking because I was like noticing the theft myself when I've been in stores. I see people like putting stuff in underneath baskets to try to Target said it's mostly organized versus petty theft. Just you last know, month, investigators uh, took down a ring of thieves stealing like millions worth of like merchandise from stores like CVS and, and Target in the Charlotte area. put things in the stroller and, and walk uh, out with it. Lynette Zencraft so hit the jackpot the with this gift to Target tonight. It's, it's on the wish list of a three-year-old little girl. Everybody so has this sort of you know, milk bottles, diapers, gas, and the, that's what's the been happening. Um, Everything is expensive. You know, getting a small For me, being a single mom, this is not somebody that. I guess lives in not as many Durham. Gifts. Lives I believe it's North Carolina. Minutes outside of Washington D.C. We met her here in Durham tonight here for her son's soccer tournament. Who and she has told me a three-year-old daughter? She's a single their parent. She says just that driving down here it's hard for her. Her. Steve also so spoke with a few visitors in Wake County. They said they to rise and shop with him as well. And they and said this issue was only more problematic. And she's not finding the triangle that much cheaper, especially with inflation. Tonight, Josh, thank you. And a place like Target threatens to raise prices because of the shoplifting crisis. So there is a shoplifting crisis, believe it or not. So you're not just hearing it from me. So one store at yes, uh, now, Crabtree Valley Mall back has up, fallen so victims to see the re repeat shoplifters. Definitely have and one some woman came in last week, the week. We'll talk at a Boho Blue out there and tonight, stole a dress. At first and then the same woman came Eastern. back the next Let's week and did it again. So more out in the morning. It's going to be higher prices. Six, seven, that is the bottom line. Right around freezing. So bundle them up with the big hat, the big coat, the scarf, flagler, business school. So Cohen worked in it the Treasury Department during We're already the Obama down into the administration. 30s tonight, so live looking at downtown Raleigh, 36 degrees under a clear sky. We have a very strong calm from there to a clear so sky in downtown Fayetteville. You're in the 30s aspect. in Fayetteville, 39 now on an east-northeast um, wind at three. Is it Temperatures from across the region, you're in the 20s in Roxborough, below freezing in Oxford, 31, um, 32 in Lewisburg, 34 out to Rono Rapids, 35 Goldsboro, 32 in Smithfield, still holding on to a 40. Clinton, but a 12 degree spread across the crime. region tonight. Looking because at Murphy, 45 out along the coast, 41 in Murphy, and down to 34 in Boone. It's actually warmer in Boone right now than it is so? in Roxborough. Says, so Overnight, target, we'll see those numbers into the 20s in that northern state. Down to 25 in Roxborough, 27 in Rowan, versus Crest, Petty Theft. 30 in Raleigh, so 29 in Smithfield, 30 in Clinton, 27 in Sanford, which has led to more than 400 million dollars. So let's zoom it out and show you that system homes. Amber mentioned. You can see the, the rain and snow cranking with this massive system over the, basically the western half of the United the States. Persists. Now this is going so to slide east. We're going to into the warm the sector of this. And that's this what will bring the weather man. to us in the form of rain. Graph? First we're cold. We start tomorrow off visiting. around freezing. Even by lunchtime, we're so, only up like to 43 you, degrees in Raleigh, I was, uh, 46 in Clinton. Tomorrow night, one or two high clouds. Just running another cold air, night, I think we'll see 30s shoes, and 20s grab for lows. And, and then Wednesday out. afternoon, and the clouds will so pick it up. At this point, most of Wednesday daylight is dry. But by so, Wednesday um, evening to Wednesday night, we start to see the shower spreading across the region. And then on Thursday, we're watching that push. That will bring warmer air, push us into the upper 50s. Will also attorney. bring rain to us as we head through the day the on article. Thursday. Forecast looks like this for tomorrow article. before the rain is here. Too, too One much. really sunny Just day. Just basically it's outlining for so long. Was that, that um, today. We'll see more of it tomorrow. Definitely Most higher sunny, prices but low average for this town. closures of stores. And so that's and what happens when you steal in a store. 48 out in Siler City, 49 in Garner, 50s in that southern area from the Rayford, 52 in Lumberton, 49 in Sanford tomorrow, 50 in Gold. 
rules, bro. You'll stay in the 40s in the northern tier from Roanoke Rapids to Henderson, 45, 48 in Rocky Mountain, and 49 in Wilson. Seven-day um, forecast powered by AccuWeather. Uh, We're back so in the 40s on Wednesday as the clouds build well. in. Showers in Wednesday night into Thursday. Stuff. Thursday looks wet around so here. I think we'll see at least a half inch of rain or more. Friday, 56, we start to clear out. And then Saturday, Sunday, we are dry for the weekend. Saturday, you get to parade in Durham. Should be good for that. Sunday, first evening of Hanukkah. So should be beautiful. And the temperatures in the 40s. Just letting you know, but FYI, I guess... We have to look at Target and Walmart. They might raise their prices, so that's the worry or the fear, as if we need prices raised in a time like it is right now. I don't think so.